There he is. On through the air. It is just a magical day today. Absolutely gorgeous Friday morning. How's old Davy boy doing? I got his last video and I gotta tell him. I'm not even gonna try to top that. That was that was the best video I've ever seen in my life. Oh I should have rewatched it before I made this. But I gotta say the end that I was had tears. I was laughing that hard. I had to show the wife. Just both of us were weak. Oh yeah. Smoking my corn cob. Missouri Mershon. We'll say Mershon, I'm thinking friggin' uh, Boston, Boston Bruins, Mershon, I'm thinking. So this is their uh, Mark Twain fight. Feels great in the hand. I've come to love the, the cobs lately, I think they're my pipes. They're just, they smoke so easy. But anyway, as I was saying, I just got home from work a little while ago. I had a tiring night of slinging paint all night long, eight hours. know how many skids of paint I, I did. I had to have been over 10. About I'd say 60 over 200 cans of paint on each pallet. When I come in a box with four, yeah, four one gallon cans, it's about 40 pounds. It varies depending on the paint. I'd say it varies from seven to 12 pounds, I guess. A can of paint. So you're looking at 30 to 40 some pounds. The cases, and that's eight hours of putting them in their homes. Uh, so I'd say I'm exhausted today. Would be an understatement. But, a little bright light in my life. The times they are changing. I sent Davy a picture yesterday. Me with a dress shirt on. And I asked him, where does he think I'm going? So, I'm going to tell him in this video that I will no longer be working for my employer. Got two weeks left there, and then I move on with my life. I 
have a new job in an electrical place. I won't say the name, but um, I'm the warehouse, well, I guess manager, warehouse support. I guess I'm the only guy, it's just a little place, and I'm running the warehouse, doing the shipping and receiving. And it's 40 hours a week. It's Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Ah, and I got vacation. Oh, times are changing. No more back shift for this guy. For you guys who don't know, I work back shift for the last almost five years now. And it's just dwindling my health, I'll tell you that much. Flickering my candle. That wasn't a sexual innuendo, I'll tell you that. smoke so easily he says and he struggles to light it but yes on to newer things it seems like uh, there's only about seven of us that work at this little place so it's not crazy crazy busy and they have great lovely profit sharing when he told me that much. Bonus. Oh. So, that will be my life on June 7th, I start. I will see the light of day again. Let's see it today. And it's funny because my wife She's uh, started her, her new job last week. Well, not new, but she's got full time now. And she's working. She used to work evenings, 4 to 12. And now she's working from 7 to 4, just like I. And it works out for us. I can have more of a life more of this working, not seeing the sunlight. And I was off weekends for my old job, the job I'm currently at, but I'd be coming home at 6 a.m. on a Saturday and I'd have to sleep most of the day. You never get enough sleep either. When you're sleeping in the day or it's a sunny day out summer day and you're trying to sleep your body just wants you to be awake all different health problems go along with working back shit I had dreadful anxiety for years I did anyways for years but the back shift really intensified it I was unaware that I was uh, I was very 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 low on vitamin D I should have known but I think I realized my whole life I was deficient so now I take large doses of it or it changed my life completely I never would have went for this job interview a couple months back would have talked myself out of it no way I would have applied they would have called and I would have panicked and I never would have went So, the times they are changing. And that is the news. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to be able to make a half hour video like old Davy Boy. My battery's low. Plus, I got nothing really interesting to say other than that. Just want to let them know. New job. And it just seems like a, <clears throat> everyone works there. You can tell they're just down to earth. The boss is fantastic. Talks about how much he loves all the his employees there. There's only a handful of them. So I'm looking forward. I'm 
not going to be. I'm going to be busy, but it's not going to be. I mean, I like to move when I'm working, when I'm at work anyway, so. But it's not going to be. Nowhere near what I've been doing the past five years or even my jobs prior. And the place is just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Upper print. So I will be slinging paint no more next week. We work next two weeks. I'll be doing it, and they can find someone else. And I'm not. Uh, I don't work in the paint department per se, but I'm the only one that'll tackle the, all those skids of paint. No one else will do it. Well, they're gonna have to find somebody else. Today I f officially go to Home Depot. Oh yeah, I work at Home Depot. I officially go with my letter of resignation. Two weeks notice. He tells me no. No, you can't. I signed some crazy contract. Didn't read the fine print. I said I'd worked here for at least 25 years. Uh, oh, my daughter bought for me. Drink some tea without milk. I don't drink tea without milk. I ran out of milk yesterday. I got some today. Gotta do some running around before I hit the hay. One more shift before the weekend. Watching the playoffs on Saturday. The old Montreal Canadiens, the old Habs, against the Leafs in the playoffs. First time since 1979. Montreal won last night 2 to 1. So they're up 1 0. And I can't not believe that I had to work. I'll get to see Saturday's game, I'll get to see Monday's game. I cannot wait. My nerves will be shot. I know the old man and my mom will be home watching it too, and their nerves will be shot too. Be drinking beer, doing this. Heart just raising. Davey, I wish you watched hockey. Again. He'd be going nuts. He'd be going nuts at Montreal's new little rookie. Cole Codfield, just a boy, he looks tiny, five foot seven or something, tiny little fella, goal scorer, scored 75 goals in his, 70, 70, around 75 goals in his, the minors there, we went to college, they drafted him, we went to play some college, Hockey, he, he won the award for that, MVP. And they called him up. Last 10 games of the season, he got five goals. His first goal was the game winner in overtime against, was it against Ottawa? I can't remember. His very first goal, anyway, was the winner in overtime. Then his second goal was his, game, his next game. 
That was an overtime. He's a little sniper. Oh, you gotta see him. All coffee on. You'll love him. Out today. I miss you, brother. Can't wait till we can make these videos together. Can't wait to get out his house, that little little shack that he built for us. He's not going to sit in it without me, is he? He should. Next video should be in his little shack. That's fine by me. I know he wants to wait. I want to get his pipe to him, too. I should drop it in the mailbox. When you're swinging by, I should grab it. God knows when we're going to get to see each other again. They got his locked down to at least mid-June now, they're saying. That is unacceptable. But, I mean, it's very acceptable, actually. Whatever it takes to make the world all right again safe but with that I'm gonna get going cheers brother and I'll be talking to him love him and to the rest of the community keep on piping in the free world that's gonna be me and Davies safe <laughs> It's not, it really isn't. I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Alright guys. Take her easy.